Hello and welcome um, to the second part of this um, video tutorial. My name is David Thorne. Uh, in the first part, we dealt with um, Firebase authentication using email and password. We've went through the creating of a user, signing in, um, and also deleting uh, of a user. Um, now, in this one, we're going to go through the, the email verification stage of the user's email address. Um, it's pretty, pretty simple, and it shouldn't take very long. We're going to use the project from previously and uh, the link will be in the, the description as well um, for where you can download it all right well let's um, get started then shall we okay so I'm in our project and um, if I just come back to here and reset this to however it was which I believe okay we're just going to remove this um, user dot delete because we don't want to delete it because the email verification stage is a little bit sensitive um, with Firebase, right? Because you'll get like too many requests, um, the error of too many requests if you do it too many times. So we're going to kind of just go through this through verbally, first of all, and then at the end, we're going to um, run it. All right. So I've got a user that's created already. So if we come to um, the authentication part of it, You'll see I've got a user which is there already. Now, we now need to verify that the user um, is there. So if we run the application, you'll see that the user is logged in. Now, we can log the user in as many times as we want because, we're, well, the user's already logged in right now. So once we have a, a user, we can use this to verify the email address. Now, what we really want to do is just say user is email verified because we only want to do it if the email address is not verified okay and we can say case true and false here right if it's not verified then um, verify it now very verify it now and if it is verified then uh, users email address is verified all right we're done now it is advisable to um, kind of force the user to only have so many email verifications per day or per hour, right? Otherwise, you're going to get a too many requests error, um, which you're then going to have to handle. So it's better to, to, to throttle the request that the user does um, using like user defaults or something like that. Um, anyway, so if the email address is verified, then we're done. Otherwise, we need to do it, right? So let's just say user dot um, request sorry it is verify send send email verification and this has a completion handler with an error okay we need to switch over to the errors on firebase because we're going to have to add some errors to our handle error um, which is uh, verification send email with verification and we've got user not found but there is also a too many um, too many requests which we need to handle so let's come down to our uh, one here and we're going to say too many requests and this is then going to say too many requests right and also oops yeah because it's the developers fault that this has happened potentially so let's come back up to the top um, so let's do our guard uh, error equals error do it this way around because we actually oh um, user email verification sense all right so this is now wants to to pause whatever it is okay and and now we say handle I can spend a whole day typing, never do this, and then come do a video and I can't type anymore. Okay, handle error. So this should all work now. All right, and it's in in here. Oh, no, it's not going to work. It's fine. Let's just run this. All right. And we should see user email verification sets. Okay, there we go. And if I come over to my email address now here, we'll see a verification email. If I click on this link, it'll open it up and it will do something. Email has been verified, right? So I can 
come back and we can run this again and now we should say user email is verified okay user email verification sense okay you have to um you have to force updates um, the user, right? So this has actually sent another one. It's correcting what you're saying. It's sent two. But in order to work out whether the user um, has been updated, we need to um, refresh or reload. Yeah, reload. Um, it's reload to use probe data from the server. Reauthenticate. No, it was reload. Okay, it should. If I remember rightly, and reload it and let's do it in here if not you're gonna to have to force log the user out or yeah I believe this works okay users email is verified as you can see um, that didn't quite necessarily work right but the, the point of the matter with here is is that um, You, you need to reload the user once again to find out that the, the data that you have because the the user data that you've got um, here saved in this variable is an old state and in order to get the new state from the um, from the server from authentication server you need to reload it again um, all right but this is um, essentially it so uh, if we come over here you don't see actually any difference in the authentication um, console um, but now you know that the user's email, email address has been verified all right and we can run this again and we still get user's email is verified okay there's there's this is the firebase part done um, so there's other things that you need to do in order to handle this um, with your application and with your user and so on um, I hope you've learned something from this. Um, I hope I've answered all of your questions. Well, I hope I've answered a majority of them. If you do have any more questions, then put them in the comments. Um, thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if it was okay or not. But please write a comment if you didn't like it or there was something that you, you thought could be better so as I can um, make better videos. And if you have any other ideas of what you want me to do, then please write them in there as well. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and um, I wish you a nice evening and see you um, soon. If you want to be notified about the new videos which I create, um, then subscribe and press the bell button and then you'll be notified all the time. Um, also, maybe write in the comments where you're from and uh, stuff like that, you know, just for the sake of writing something. <laughs> Thanks very much. Bye-bye.